Do you want to introduce it now that you've seen well, it? Well, I can introduce it, but... Because I know you're excited by this. Oh, I am. On the radar. I am quite excited. It's, they've finally redesigned the new Prado. Yeah. It's the new Prado. And, and what about this new Prado are we covering today? Jaden better hurry up because I'm hoping he's got photos for uh, us. He's what are up. we covering today? Well, we're covering some... They've released some pricing. Yep. There's some newer pricing. And there's something else. Do we ha- is the pricing in the run sheet? Because if not, I've got that. <laughs> and the pricing so, is it's been spotted. It's been, it's been spotted, spotted in oh, Victoria. Victoria. Okay. If you look behind you, oh, there's yeah, some photos. Yeah. You did know this. That's yeah. been spotted a few few places. Yes. Yeah. So this was sent in by Isaac P to our email address. And well, should, was, we disclose, this should we ago. disclose his name? Is this still top secret stuff from Toyota? Or, no, the Isaac P is a... Um, oh, it's a cover yeah, name. It's a cover gotcha, name. Gotcha. Cover name. Yeah. Or, or is it? They've released the Toyota. photos of them anyway now. Yeah, you know? well, this is this is spotted in the wild a little bit. Ooh. Uh, nice looking bull bar on it, spotted at the fuel station. Rafa it sent me that nice. one a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. so these are the same ones. This was sent in oh, yeah. two two weeks back and I haven't had um, haven't had the time to go to go over it. What's this little spout thing? Hat on the... uh, that looks like a snorkel. Yeah, be... It's got no... Like, yeah, yeah, it doesn't have a, doesn't have a top on it. It's got a... Interesting show. It's interesting. It's like a it's like a smokestack. Mm. The the bull bar doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I don't mind that. I quite like it. Looks like it's towing a Prado, towing a van. It does, doesn't it? Another an old Prado, I mean. Yeah, they got the old Prado right behind it. So what we're looking at, it it, makes what is, look, what's it got? That's got bigger tires on it. It kind of got a bull bar. It's got a snorkel got, and yeah. towing it's got towing mirrors. Or are those, do you reckon those are those come stock with it? Bash plate. No, they'll, they'll, they'll be stock, those mirrors. They're not towing mirrors. Those though. mirrors look huge. Winch, rated recovery points. Yep. Yeah, it's got the bash plates bash and everything. Plate. That's interesting. Light bar. Light bar, yeah. Radio on top. It's got the bars on the oh, yeah. roof, but That's I think what? the normal Prado might actually have that too. Yeah, it does. If you look behind it, Ronnie, the yeah, normal yeah, Prado's... I mean, there. that might have been added on no, too. It's anyway. a, no, Ronnie, it's fine, mate. You can't see. It's fine. <laughs> Do we know what sort of spec or, or model this is? Uh, that no. one there will be the altitude. Altitude? Okay. It has yeah. to be because it has a snorkel. It has the bash plates. That, that's, yeah, what and, bull and bar do you reckon that is? That's definitely an altitude. So what, what bull bar? That's a, that's a Toyota bull bar. That's a Toyota bull bar. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it has to be. It looks, it looks better than the Toyota bull bar usually. Yeah, well, that's it why looks. I said it, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Uh, what's, it, what looks it, a bit, it looks a bit wide. It looks like it looks like, like on the an, edge. It looks like an FJ and yeah, right there. It looks like an FJ and a three hundred series and a seventy six series all sort of yeah. pieced together. I get what you're saying. See that line yeah. in the bonnet, and so it's got his really raised bonnet, and that'll be because of the new collision standards. So that'll that's like you, on the seventy six. Your that's that yep. raised. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But even the new Ranger has the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, they're a bit boxier at the front, aren't they? I think it's a standard thing. Okay. So the reason why the structure looks so weak is because it's, it has to be weak. So if it runs into someone... But the funny thing is it's got a bull bar on it, so it kind of defeats the purpose, really. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, the thing that we were talking about was... Uh, what well, not last episode, but the episode before, was the $10,000 price increase on the new Prado compared to the old Prado. I, like, if I had the money, I would be paying an extra ten grand for this. For this Prado, I think it looks way better than the old Prado. Yeah, and the so engine has been proved proven to be a good engine. The price list, I don't think it is ten grand more though. You don't think it is? Not the price list I saw. What's the price list you saw? Because the last one I saw was a ten grand price increase from the old Prado. Okay. On right. that, is there a um, is there actually a list is a waiting wait list already? Two years. This? Yeah. But you can you can get you can get on a wait list now. People are people. Ha- People, there's heaps of people on the list already. Oh, right. Okay. But I think it's going to be like a two year right. wait, possibly. So, so how long has that list been around for? About a year. Oh, right. Okay. I think. Yeah. So, I mean, there might have been a lot of people that couldn't really be on the list yet, but they they just asked to be on the list. I can hear something now. Yeah, you got that? I got that. Is Thank that back? You. Yes, Are I you am back? back. Hang on, here we go. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Now we feel like we're starting. <laughs> All right, welcome to the uh, Full Drive Podcast. <laughs> go on. Driven no, by Shelter. <laughs> yep, that was a Southern going. River Band. That was a very short snippet though. Yes. Uh, song, song title. We've got Liam Duggan here and we've got Jaden behind the camera there and behind the... All the other wizard, wizardry stuff, and yep. uh, I've, yeah, and then um, I uh, what's my name again? <laughs> <laughs> what's my name? Oh, I forgot. Oh, it's my, what's, what's my, my age again? Yeah, what's my <laughs> age? <laughs> what's my, no, but that was no, a good, no, no. Yeah, yeah, let's not talk about age. Yeah, all right. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. 
I look, can't so see that. Um, like, look, I don't know what price list you're looking at. Is that gonna, in the run sheet? No, I got an email sent to me from someone I know, and mm. and I hadn't, I didn't realise I had that out yet. So I'll look for it later. But it's um, it. What what price have you got on on the G- GXL? Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head from from what it was from the last run sheet. Oh, you're but going it's, off it's the near, last. It's near ninety. It's near ninety grand, isn't it? Yeah, it was something around there. It was around the ninety grand mark for the GXL, and then ninety five. I'm gonna to have to find it for the altitude. Yeah, if you can find that that email, that'd be great. But it, it is it is a fairly expensive car for what it is essentially, which is a the same engine as the old Prado, but a facelift. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> More or less. I mean, this it is a completely different car though. It what makes com- it? What, what's di- well, other than the, the engine? Well, the whole shape of it. Oh yeah. Uh, do you know GXL, eighty grand. Eighty grand. Eighty grand. Is that before on road costs and all that, or straight out? It says recommended retail price. Okay. So I mean that, and that's the price they'll quote. Right, unless they're doing a drive away price. So if you go a GX, it's seventy two and a half. If you go GXL, it's let's just round it up to eighty. The VX, which is eighty seven and a half. So let's just call that eighty eight, same as what I paid for seventy six. Although that was drive away, so I'm not sure what this will be. The altitude is ninety two thousand, and then you have got the Kakadu, which is basically a hundred thousand. Ninety nine thousand. Yeah, right. That's a that's a big step up in that a one. Big step up. Who yeah. who are these? Who have they targeted here? The Prado. Is it just the people that are? Okay. Like the Pradas are very popular. So yeah. where does this fit in in a just in a general sense? Okay. In a general sense, the GX will suit the mines. Yep. Your, your poverty pack, right? Uh, no one, none of the public, I would say, would buy the GX. They'd want the, at least the GXL. The GXL comes with almost everything that the VX used to have. Yep. And then the VX has a bit more stuff. Yeah, okay. But I don't know if I would justify almost an extra 10 grand for a VX over a GXL because the GXL has a lot of stuff. Right. Um, let me just pull the GXL up. So the GXL, uh, it's got the roof rails, it's got the... Power tailgate, heated and ventilated front seats. The ventilated front seats are awesome. My mate Chris has had one in his Prado that he just sold. So he had a GXL, he up and put the ventilated seats in. It's amazing. It's like having air con in your seats, yeah, right. kind of. Um, I'm a bit of a sweaty back person when it comes to leather seats. <laughs> and um, the wireless... Just the back? Wireless... <laughs> Well, yeah, wireless phone charger. We keep moving on here. <laughs> uh, okay, eight, uh, what was it? Lever. So it's got uh, lever, steering wheel, lever seat material, seven seats, um, and then just all the other standard stuff. So that is pretty much what the, uh, the VX used to have in that spec. But the VX now has a tire pressure monitor. Uh, it's got a few other little little features, but... Uh, was it refrigerated console boxes all? But I mean, you know, really? Yeah. Who really needs that? With the altitude, that's when you get a rear diff lock. Oh, right, eh? So there's not, none of these vehicles, that was one thing I was a little bit disappointed in seeing. None of them have a rear diff lock. Do any it's, of the current Prados have a yes. rear diff lock standard? Yeah, GXL, VX. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, they right. got, yeah, rear diff lock. There you go. So I'm assuming they'll have some <coughs> kind of other, I don't know. Is that is that a bit of a message though from for what Toyota are going after with these cars? That you got to go up to the altitude to actually get a, a rear diff lock. Well, yeah, but, you know, like that that says a bit to me about their target audience, I reckon. Yes, and I totally agree there because you asked me before who are they targeting? So the GX is the mines. The GXL is your everyday person. Yep. Like ourselves, the VX is like you know, let's splurge a little bit more, get the little bit of extras. Yep. But I'm pretty sure that if if you were to go and buy one of these two between a VX and an altitude, there is about five grand. Right. For an extra five grand, you can get the whole white roof sort of thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a bit of a FJ vibey thing. So they're kind of targeting the overlander, full driving yep. kind of person. That's what I see the altitude of being, and that is what I would go rather than go from GXL to VX. I'll go to altitude. I would not go to a Kakadu. Kakadu, 
Uh, they have like um, air suspension. Right. Uh, going from previous Kakadus, you can't do a GVM upgrade on them. Yeah, okay. So if that's going to be an issue to people. Uh, yeah. So I think the Kakadu is more like your luxury yeah, okay. sort of, you yeah. know, it's a bit like the Sahara 200 series. Yeah. Yeah. So the altitude, I guess, is instead of having a GR. A yeah. GR Prada. Yeah, gotcha.